Hey everybody, thanks for checking in on our quick review of NHL 15. This of course is the game that took off the year 2014 to get better. EA Sports promised us something next gen, and by the control layout we can say, well, feels like 2013. Uh, as for the visuals of the game, well, all the cutscenes look fantastic. I will, I will freely admit, when you see the cutscenes, the opening scenes, you're like, wow, NHL 15. This is going to be just like Madden 15. And then you get into the gameplay. And, well, I have to say, it's fun, and it's very fluid, and, and it feels like NHL 2013. But visually, I have to say, it still feels kind of like 2013 as well. Um, if you were to tell me this was NHL 2013, I don't think I really would bat an eye at that. And I'd probably be like, okay, yeah. So where Madden 15 this year really had a visual thump and upgrade and really felt like something next-gen, NHL 15 doesn't quite have the same bravado. Um, also, one of the things I really noticed, and it was all throughout the game was the voiceover work. It's very hitchy. When they're stitching together everything, it just doesn't quite mesh. Um, so that was a big disappointment because I always liked the voiceover stuff in NHL 13 and previous iterations that felt very fluid, very broadcast-like. Uh, the fighting system, of course, is making its return. Um, you know, I was never a big fan of the fighting system uh, before, and I'm certainly not a big fan of the fighting system this iteration. It still feels like you can flail away, especially if you're playing a CPU opponent, uh, just button mashing and stick twirling, and you're going to get some kind of favorable result. Uh, so there's that. Uh, getting back into the visuals, though, uh, you know, again, looking out at the crowds, looking out at the presentation, at times it really shines. It really does. Uh, and you feel like it's it's NHL broadcast TV quality. Uh, but then you hear the announcers again. And just that disconnect of how they're stitching together their voices, it really throws me off. Now, one of the other things I really uh, also notice is that scoring seems to be extremely easy in NHL 15, comparatively speaking to the previous iteration, NHL 2013. Um, not quite sure if they really did tweak it or not. Uh, or maybe my recollection just isn't as good as it used to be. I mean, we are gaming for the elderly after all. But, uh, yeah, I, I found goals came pretty easy and often in NHL 15. And I don't necessarily think that's such a bad thing because uh, at the end of the day, scoring goals is fun. And uh, this game certainly is, is making that a little bit easier for you. Um, now, that being said... Uh, what are some of the big negatives outside of some of the things I've already talked about? Well, EA, in, in this year of taking off, you know, they were supposed to be improving this game and bringing us something really worthy of being next-gen, but apparently they left off a bunch of things on the checklist. So, just to give you an idea of things not included in this game, no GM-connected franchise, no online team play. This was a big one. You can no longer play with friends as part of a team. Um... There's no EA Sports Hockey League, no EA Sports Arena, no online shootouts, no live uh, live the life of a, a legend. Uh, there's no Winter Classic game. There's no tournaments or battle for the cup. Um, there's uh, no custom camera options. There's no action tracker replay highlights. Uh, just, you know, again, kind of weird things, but things that they just left out. There's no way to edit individual players. Uh, there's no create a team mode. You can't customize each team's AI either. So uh, just a lot of things they really kind of left on the cutting room floor. Very surprising. Um, Ultimate Team, uh, which does make its uh, way back in, you can't play against your friends apparently. Uh, again, I don't know how or why this happens, but apparently they thought it was the right move. Clearly, I don't think so. So that said, my recommendation, hold off a bit. Uh, pick this up on the cheap. Don't pay top dollar for this game, especially when it's missing so many features. Uh, really, I think EA could have done so much more, especially given they took an extra year to make this title. So, thank you for watching. Please give us likes on YouTube, as well as come check us out at G4TE.com, where being a gamer over the age of 18, well, it's a good thing.